Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. Today I have a special channel for you. Oh, I'm so excited to do this. I've wanted to do this since the first time I channeled this man and I know you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Remember the purpose of this channel is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. And I know that we're gonna do that today in this video. So I'm going to do a very special transformative channel. A trance dash channel is a unique format that I use where I share energy space with the spirit in the afterlife. Now, usually it's someone that I trust or I feel very compatible or comfortable with. Very gentle spirits, indeed. And today I am going to transformatively channel Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Now, if you want to watch the first channel that I ever did with him and the follow-up channel, you can go ahead and check it out under the playlist for Freddie Mercury. So let's get started. Now, it takes a little bit of time for me to adjust and get into the energy where I can share space with the spirit. Now, he's not going to be taking over my body or possessing me or anything like that. That's not how a transformative channel works. It's very much a collaborative energy share, all right? And I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be pretty easy, quite frankly. He is excited. He wanted to do this since like the first time because he knows that I've done this before. So here we go. All right, okay. Oh, I'm just excited. I feel, I feel his excitement. So, so let's see if we can do this here. I'll ignore any background noises that I might hear in my physical, very human environment and allow myself the energy of calmness and contentment as I shift into shared space. I have a guide that helps me to do this that you've probably seen in other channeling videos. Very special. <laughs> A spirit guide that helps me to do this. You might hear my husband in the background. He will ask questions that I have selected beforehand so that I don't have to feel like I have to control anything from behind the scenes, from backstage. So Freddie's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come on now. Just, just shut up now. Let's get going. <laughs> Let's start the show, he says. Mm, I can see him too with his mustache. He actually has a mustache on. He's funny. He's like, is that okay with you? Do you need me to shave? Should I shave? <laughs> oh, Freddie, you're so great. feels so good she is so loving she is so filled with love I feel that because we connect in the heart that's how us spirit folk do that we connect right here oh her heart is so sweet oh there's so much oh she cares so deeply wow this is fantastic this is fabulous Oh, let me just get acquainted with the body. Oh. Let me get a little comfortable here. It feels good. And it feels, it feels quite better than I expected. I, I will admit that. It does. I can, it's like I can see everything good, all goodness. Everything's goodness, very bright and 
just positive energy everywhere. Just really good vibes, really good, good vibes. I really want to smoke. I would love to feel what a cigarette would feel like. But I know she does not smoke. She would not have that, I'm sure. But I can simply imagine, can't I? Imagine the feeling of the cigarette between my fingertips. I know it's a dirty habit. I know it's a disgusting habit. But I really just so want to feel that. But I know her body could not handle that. Let me just be clear. I would never disrespect the health of the human body (laughs) when it's someone else's, you know. When you're making your own choices, oh, and a drink would be just lovely. A drink would be just fabulous. Hmm. Oh, it feels quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Let's begin. We can begin. I, I know there are so many questions. So many questions. I, I don't myself have any. I'm sure uh, if I was a person, oh, 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 I have to share. There are two names that that I want to share with you. The first is John. Now you can use your imagination as to that. Who might that be? John. Hmm? Who would be a John that I might be? hanging out with in the afterlife there might be a few but there's one in particular that I I have had some jam sessions with that I I quite do respect let me share that and to answer many of your questions I have many fan questions that have asked about Paul and yes we are together in the afterlife very much so there is quite a beautiful energy or a synergy here but I will share that he he, he wants to come back. He wants to rush right back in and get all ready and get right back at it and have, human, have that human experience, that reincarnation right again. But for a bit, we've had some time together and he is preparing to return. And, and I respect that with my blessings. If there is such a thing in the afterlife, blessings, it's quite ironic, isn't it? It's quite funny to think about that or to consider that. And yet, it is quite, it's a nicety. It's like saying gratitude or, or grateful energy or appreciation. Appreciation. It's like a, a recognition and appreciation is what blessings is. That's a good, that is a good um, explanation of that term. I understand that she has some questions that she'd like to ask or want to have a discussion. And, and now for you all, she cannot... Ra- um, Bridget must stay behind the scenes, and it is not easy for her to do that because she usually is front and center. And so we will share the space, and I will treat the energy kindly as well. What would you like to know? Hmm? What would you like to know? I think we would just like you to talk a little bit about what it's like for you in the afterlife. You know, what is your role? Um, It's been a long time, for us anyway. Yes, yes, it has, hasn't it? Mm. Yes. It is quite mysterious, isn't it a mystery? And who am I to to break the mystery? You know, I, I don't want to wreck the surprise. But I do understand the curiosity. It's human nature to be curious. And in the afterlife, which is so ironic, it's such an ironic term, isn't it? Afterlife, afterlife. Is there life after death? Yes, and perhaps that is the life that we are referring to when we're referring to life in and of itself anyway, with that spirit, that spark of light and of never-ending passion and curiosity and creativity. Creativity never, never dies. Never dies. That spark of that infinite spirit of creativity never dies. Part of my purpose, you would say purpose. I, we don't really use that term to be clear. Many of us who are in spirit form and who are still choosing to sit behind the motherboard, managing things as such, are creatives 
and we have chosen not to come back and jump right back down onto earth. I mean, please, really, I rode my body hard. I don't know that there, I can't say that there is anything that I haven't necessarily done or experienced that I need to go back and feel and be in a body for. However, there are certain pleasures that I will say are quite fantastic and you do need a body for those. However, purpose, 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 purpose. That's just, it doesn't even fit. It doesn't really fit in my vocabulary. It's much more of a, an incredible, spontaneous collaboration, a spontaneous creation that is not limited. So it's genius ideas and, and harmonies and, and the energy of coming together and creating a patterning, a rhythm that is beyond human understanding. It is a cosmic rhythm. And that is the magic of what it is that's after life, that is in this space that I work in. Now I am at work. That is what I'm doing. If you're curious about what I'm actually doing, it's not grandstanding some bold mission or purpose or vision, but vision is important to me. And I like the energy that I am given, the creative freedom here. And, and it's not to say that I didn't have that in my life. I definitely had creative freedom. And I had, I was surrounded by wonderful friends and family that, friends that are family that I care very much about even after and beyond and I do watch out for my mates and what they're creating in the human world I know what the band is doing I know I keep you might say tabs on but really they're the ones that are asking me for help all the time let's be creative let's be true about that creative flow who do you think is giving them some of their inspirations now not to say that I need credit on the the new things that are produced or the albums that come out or the films that are made. I don't need credit, but I'm, I like the celebration. I like that life continues, that it, it lives on beyond what we, we think are our simple minds. I really like that. I am so pleased that life continues on. And, and for me, my purpose is to serve in this way, like at the master board, and help to give budding musicians, budding, budding, budding instrumentalists, the words, the lyrics, the, the notes, the rhythm, the, the creative license to experiment. Experiment with sound, experiment with words and language and music. And there's so much intricacies. She cannot say that word. Detail. That can make such a difference. Just a small tune to the right or a little bit. It's so, you've got to hear it. And it's not hearing it with human or ears. When you make music, when you're making something that is coming from pure creative bliss, it's, as it, it's erotic and ecstatic bliss. It's like this cosmic boom. And in that moment, you just feel it. And it's pure connection and it's pure pure it's pure purpose now that's the correct way to say the word and use the term purpose very much so I, I really I really want to drink with her body but I don't think she would appreciate that maybe she would she might be okay with some of it but I really really some of the human pleasures are missed I will say that they're missed but Let's be clear. That's not worth coming back for. Let me say that. Put things into the concept, context of what's real. And what's real is what's in your heart and in your soul. And you speak through your heart. And when you create, it comes up through this place inside of you that's actually held inside of you. During the time that you're a person, it's held. It's, 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 it's cradled inside of you, your soul, your gut, your knowing. That's what you stand for and that's what you create and that expression that comes up and into your heart and then it's shared and it's felt. It's felt by everyone in the stadium, in the auditorium, in the stands, in the music room. 
whether you're in high school, making music with your band after school, right? Or whether you're on a massive stage being televised all over the world in multiple countries. It doesn't matter. It's the soul of you that's creating the expression and that explosion of expression, that creative energy, that, that potential, those ideas, that's me. That's what I stand for. That's what I hold for you in the afterlife. And you don't have to be a musician, a performer, some great talent waiting to be discovered. You are a great talent and you are discoverable by yourself in your own way. You're discovering yourself. That's what living is about, discovering yourself. And I wish, oh, I wish, oh, I just wish. I wish so many people would do that. I wish people would just do that. I wish people would just love themselves and then spend their time exploring and experiencing and discovering all these wonderful talents that make them so special, so unique. I wish people would just love themselves and then let themselves, love themselves and let themselves then. You got to just not pay attention. Don't pay a mind to what other people say and the critics. They're not the ones that are doing it, are they? That's why they're called critics. They're sitting outside looking in. You are in. They are not. They don't have the view. They don't know you. They don't know you like you know you. Ah, oh, there's just so much. I have so much. There's so much here to share, to say, to do. So much. She has such a passion. Your wife, she has such a passion for people she cares. She cares. And so do I. So do I. Which is why we're working together here. So you spoke a little bit about your influence on music. That's what it sounded like you were saying. You were influencing some of the music of today. Does music play any other role for you there? Um, you know, do you, do you get together and sing with others? Are you still creating? Yes. Bowie. David and I are friends, contrary to what other people might think. You know, people like to make things up. That's a human thing, you know, drama, right? Hmm. <laughs> David and I create, we co-create quite a bit, quite a bit. He's very, very evolved chap, very evolved. And we most certainly have some influences down on earth. We've got some talents that we're helping to grow. We are supporting many artists right now. We are, we are, we're most certainly inspiring the new, renewing those who may have left their talent by the wayside. Music is such a high vibrational thing. It's an entity of itself. David would say that too, I'm sure. David, if you chatted with David, he would share that too. There's such a, it's such an entity. It's a living, breathing organism or one might say orgasm. <laughs> but, you know, I, you know, I play, I play, I play. It's so ethereal music. It's that frequency that it's the message that's not spoken through the music. It's the message that's not spoken. It's the chords and the, the way it chimes into the body and it just creates this repercussion, this just this vibration, you know, and it's, It's, it's something that you can't explain. You've got to experience it and feel it. And you don't have to be a musician to appreciate music. You don't have to play an instrument to appreciate the vibration of the chords. You do not have to be a musician to appreciate it. There's a softening, a shift now that's starting. 
a changing of a guard, if you will. I would like to say thank you. I would like to say thank you. Yeah, very much. And I would also like to give a piece of advice. Don't be afraid to smile. Smile with your heart and your soul. Just smile. Don't be afraid to smile. My parting message. Mm -hmm. I would like to wait around a little and watch how this happens, though. She's okay with that. Just to the side, if that's all right. David. You can switch if you want. I'm okay with that. I can feel David Bowie. He doesn't want to be rude. I'm going to just kind of be in between for a minute. It's Bridget. I'm, I'm here. David, come in and talk about your purpose in the afterlife. Can you do that? Yes, I can handle it. I'm okay with that. You want to transform? Okay, yes. Oh. Well, certainly. That's a pleasure. That's a pleasure for me. It's a pleasure for me. I didn't expect her to, to allow or facilitate that exchange. But with my good friend, Freddie, I would like to share purpose or role, which is more appropriate, I think, role is much more appropriate for afterlife conversation. My role in spirit is to collaborate with spirit like, <laughs> like Freddie, like John. He's referring to John Lennon, if you didn't catch that, I'm sure many of you probably did. And just because we all were around the same stretch of country, doesn't necessarily assume that we would gravitate toward each other, but we have to represent, don't we? There's a bit of a pride in the afterlife with some of the, uh, the uh, fan base, I will use the words fan base, that we all have that are common, let's say that, right? Based upon the UK and the love that we have there, so so important to acknowledge that because it's the fans the people who follow your work are the people that that you know you can make the most impact upon and in the afterlife the important piece is to consistently continue making those connections and so too for me i communicate i consistently communicate and for many i have been considered an ascended master some title like that but I think it's just simply because my, the way I feel when I come through is much more, Bridget would say, triangular-like or pyramid-like, which is kind of ascended or transcendent is maybe more of an appropriate term, but I'm very much accessible to you as fans, to you as viewers, to you who are in human body. I'm very much accessible. You just have to speak or you can share or have a heart conversation with me. It's not difficult to do that. But my purpose is to afford the opportunity for connection, but it's about consistency. It's consistent communication. That's my energy. That is my energy sort of stake or pillar, Bridget would say pillar, for, for you to be able to recognize me, to acknowledge that I'm, I'm here. And it's not, and let me just, let's be clear, it's not because I was some fabulous weirdo in human life. Not because I was some eccentric exceptionality in human life. It was not because of some accomplishment I've had as a person. It wasn't like that. It's not like you earn it. You step up 
and into whatever it is you choose to focus on. It's like choosing a genre of music or choosing a place to live in human form, right? It's very much like that. You choose it. You, you have choice. The spirit is free to choose. And through that freedom comes the ability to express. And for me, the evolution of the stages that I have experienced throughout many of my lifetimes has led me to this point. And I am, I'm comfortable in this space, and yet I feel very expanded. And, and I'm very interested in cosmic alliances and, and, and multiple uh, life experiences in addition to just what is on the human plane, different realms and different possibilities and capacities. And I'm interested in a lot of different things. And I, I hold space to allow human beings to communicate through me to whatever it is to help facilitate whatever it is they are trying to achieve or reach for their life. And that has a lot to do with consistency. It's got to be consistent communication. And that's what I offer you might say, I guess, offer, offering. That's kind of my specialty, let's say that. It's kind of my specialty. But I still like to jam, I like to have a great time, I like to be creative and my expressiveness and my good friend Freddie, he's one that really is one that allows you the ability to really be and experience and express the different avenues of yourself. And in our soul life, it's the same kind of a a thing as well. We have permission, of course. There's no permissions, there's no boundaries, there's no limits, but but there is definitely collaboration. And those opportunities are are pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And it's hard to explain, but that's um, something that's really important and that I have a lot of gra- gratitude for. I'm very grateful for that too. And, and I want to thank Bridget as well for allowing me to uh, sneak in here and just share that because I think that's really important. I really wanted to uh, make sure I brought that through. So thank you. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. I am okay, but it's Bridget, I'm coming back. I'm trying to reach my full body. I'm aware. Whoa. I need a little time. You can keep the camera rolling, it's okay. I'm comfortable with sharing. Everybody should see the transitions. I don't know that I've ever had two people in the same time. Aside from Prince, of course, my best soul friend in the afterlife who helps a lot and uh, he's uh, kind of off to my left right now he's saying just take your time Bridget don't rush I can feel my shoulders for everybody who's wa- who they're, they're, oh my goodness for everybody who's watching no worries it's a natural process I'm very safe I'm always protected. I have Archangel Michael who works with me very closely to make sure that my transitions are safe. I have safe passage. And I am in a comfortable and safe space in my home. And my husband is also here because he helps to ground me and center me. So if for some reason I couldn't come back fully, he could help me do that. My legs are feeling a bit numb and tingly and so I'm just gonna give them time to adjust. Clearly my brain is here because my brain is going, oh, wipe the mascara off your face because I can (laughs) feel it. Oh, my hands are moving. That's good. That's a good thing. What a burst of energy. I am surprised at how Freddie Mercury's energy was so robust and boisterous and very express. Oh, I I can't lift my head up. It's a little too tingly. I expected his energy so gentle and so kind and sweet. I thought he would be really gentle, but he was so excited. Oh my gosh, he gets so excited. I like that. No wonder why I like him so much because he's very easy to um, relate to. For me personally, it feels really easily excited. Like he would get on board with your ideas and help you think through things. Like he'd be your guy, you know, to help you out with that. 
He'd be very supportive, I think. I'm trying to set my head up a little bit. I'm really, my head feels a little bit disjointed, I feel. I can't quite feel my legs. I can move them. I can feel, I can make myself move my body a little bit so I can get back into my body. Wow, this is a little bit trickier of a transition because I haven't done two. We're gonna, let's do a follow-up video. Give me a second. I'm gonna have some water and come back in and kind of get my bearings a little. So let's, let's do that. Let's do a follow-up. So this is Bridget with Above Life Channel. You've been watching a transformative channel with Freddie Mercury and surprise guest friend, David Bowie, apparently. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular channel. Please like this video if you do. Comment if you have comments that are value added to help enhance the conversation and the experience for others here. Wow. So the purpose of this video was to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. And I hope that it's done that. Don't worry, I'm a little bit altered, I'm going to say right now. But I feel okay. I feel all right. Just going to give myself a little more time to come fully back into my body so that then I can have a conversation with you as a follow-up to this transformative channel with Freddie Mercury and David Bowie. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for watching and being part of the experience.